Hey guys, Heath here, Shepherd's Forge. Um, I already did my two normalizing cycles and put my uh, my touch marks in. Uh, I'm about to do my heat treat, but I thought I'd go through that. I figured that was a little bit more critical for, for uh, people to see that done. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pull the blade out. I'm going to touch it to my magnet, which I have uh, to the side of my forge here. Check for non-ferrous, non-magnetic. And then I have my uh, my quench oil outside. I've already preheated that. Uh, almost had a little fire in the shop because I should have preheated it in here. Uh, metal no. Take your cold oil outside to preheat. Just saying. You'll have fountains. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and check for non-ferrous. And my buddy Chad's running the camera. Chad, say hi. Hi. Thank you, Chad, for running the camera for me. All right, Chad, if you want to zoom in there real quick. Parks 50 is I'm going to pay for. And we have a slight warp, but this is thin material. It's not too bad. That's all right. That's not bad. That is bad I can deal with. All right, we're going to go back in. We're going to grab the other one. try to wait for the uh, the bubbling to kind of subside, the smoke to go down. And I figure it's about ready. That one's perfectly straight. We're good there. That's beautiful. Pull me back in the forge. So that's pretty much what I go through. Um, when I'm doing my heat treat, Chad was here for the normalizing cycle. He's, he says, man, there's a lot that goes into this. Um, and basically, what I do with my normalizing is I stick it in that tube, and the tube gets a much more even heat. If I put it directly under the forge fire, um, I, I tend to get a lot more warping and uneven heat. So I use that tube trick. Uh, and it seems to work out great. I do two normalizing cycles at 1500 degrees. Yes, I know there are guys that, that have normalizing ovens and they, you know, they're critical. They're like, we do it at 1550, then another one at 1500, and another one at 1450. I get mine up to about 50, 1500. I know where that's at. It's bright, bright cherry red. Put my stamp marks in it. Let it sit down to cool. I, I get it to the point where I can just just kind of touch it, it's still warm, and I stick it back in and do another normalizing cycle. I always do that twice. I know some guys do three or four normalizing cycles. I don't really see a point. Um, once you've done it twice, uh, it's, it's going to be what it is. So anyway, guys, that was my first tutorial, and I appreciate you tuning in for it. So until next time from Shepherd's Forge, guys, stay humble.